Chicago police released new surveillance video of three people wanted in connection to the shooting death of a security guard in Chatham just days before Christmas. WGN's Courtney Spinelli spoke to the victim's daughter. She has a look at the video as well. Courtney. Ben and Jenna, family members of Edward Creamer are devastated his life was taken in such a violent way. As they prepare to lay him to rest, they're still left with so many questions about why this happened and who did this. Police are hoping these photos and videos they're now sharing will help lead to those answers. He's a protector, um, very loving, very forgiving, which I never understood. I'm still learning to be that way like my daddy. A beloved father of seven and grandfather to five shot to death days before Christmas while he was just trying to make a living. All of us needed him in some type of way. Edward, a.k.a. Fontaine Creamer, lived a life helping others, his daughter says. The 53-year-old from Calumet City was working as a security guard at a retail store near 87th and Cottage Grove when he was killed. It's just hurting because nobody was there to protect him. But of course, I knew my dad didn't think that that would occur. It was on the afternoon of December 20th when police say a group got into an argument with Creamer, then a fight before one of the suspects opened fire. He was shot three times and rushed to the hospital, but he didn't make it. I don't know how it led to a scuffle to, for them to end up shooting my dad. It don't make sense. Homicide detectives sharing these photos and videos they hope will lead to justice for a grieving family. You can see here three suspects running from a store appearing to steal items. While it's not clear if this incident is connected to the shooting, detectives say they believe this group is. I'm sure the situation wasn't that bad where you felt the need to do that to him. Ashley Creamer says her dad was a loving and forgiving man, a longtime martial arts and self-defense instructor, and someone who spent his life giving back. At the least, they're now hoping anyone with information can give them some answers by speaking up. That's somebody's father, that's somebody's granddad, that's somebody's brother, that's somebody's child. Nobody deserves to, to die like that. Now, no arrests have been announced and no other specifics on those three people wanted in connection to the crime have been released tonight. We do have those images and video online on our websites. You can take another look there, WGNTV.com. Back to you.